Should the 49ers sign Jeff Ooh. Gladney? He was a first round pick in 2020. Uh, started in in Minnesota, didn't play well as a rookie, uh, was accused of domestic violence, some t- really bad accusations, but was acquitted. Yeah, it was rough. That's was a rough one. Yesterday. It was acquitted yesterday. And in the spirit of the Deshaun Watson news, where everyone's like, yay, he's innocent. Let's talk football. Well, here's another guy who's innocent. What do you think? I mean, this guy would be cheap. He would be super cheap, and you'd do like a one-year prove-it deal. I was really high on Jeff Gladney coming out of TCU. Um, I had him as my number four or five corner, and I call him muscle hamster. Like, he's jacked. Again, yeah. I'm a Longhorn guy, so I, I've watched this guy play since high school, and he'd be perfect in the slot. 5'10", undersized, but mean as hell. Like, he is a bully. Now, you got to go and back to the off the field the stuff. Slot, for sure, sorry. I think that this is a person that will be suspended. Um, that's just my own personal take on reading the details. The NFL does not like black eyes. Uh, and this one looks really, really bad. Remember when the news came out, they cut him on the spot, right? The Vikings did. Um, I think this is somebody that's going to be suspended personally. That's just my take. Okay, good to know. I mean, I still think cheap might play the long game here. First yes. round pick. You haven't had a talent like that. On, I mean, since Jason Verrett. So, I mean... If it was one of my favorite picks that year in the draft, I I, I thought this was by far one of my favorite picks. Look, um, I haven't actually looked in, in the details of this case at all. All I know is that he was acquitted, and everyone's saying, "Who who are we to judge?" Right? So, hey, yep. just saying, it's something to, something to think about. Hey, a guy who's young and was a first round pick is available for the low low right now. If yep. you can stomach what he's been accused of, as long as he doesn't gamble, um, then he's going to be okay. You know what I mean? That's the big thing. You can't have that, Grant. NorCal Trocas says, can we just call Jimmy Garoppolo already? At this point, Elvis Gerback had a better career than Jimmy Garoppolo. Elvis Gerback. Wow. Oh, Gerback. I love it, man. Uh, Gerback also had a better career than Troy Aikman, if you look at those stats. Uh, so throw that out there. Are we talking about, like, overhyped backups of Hall of Famers? Yeah, I feel that. I'm telling you, man, the only reason Jimmy Garoppolo is a, a, a thing is because he got drafted by New England and got to be, like, be next to Tom Brady. Everyone thinks – imagine if he got drafted by – Cleveland. I don't even think he'd be in the NFL anymore. But he's been with Bill Belichick, Kyle Shanahan. Now he's gonna. Ha- I-, I feel like the-, the Nick Foles and Jacksonville thing is about to happen real quick. Like, oh, like the wheels are gonna fall off immediately. Everyone's gonna be like, "What were we?" Like, a lot of people are telling you don't do it. I'm telling you don't do it. But some team's gonna think he's a he's a winner. Uh-huh. And I think this is oh. I think it's a lot of it's just the it's the goldfish theory. I think there's like 15 decent quarterbacks. I'd probably say there's 12 decent quarterbacks currently in the NFL, and everybody's just scrambling, rolling the dice, playing craps. How many teams are going to take gambles on Carson Wentz or Jimmy G? Like, they're average, and they might be able to get you an extension because they might get you to the playoffs, but, like, they're they're not – I don't know. I, I'm I, Jimmy G's a decent quarterback, but only because there's not 20 good quarterbacks in the NFL. Dude, I feel like I could name 30 guys I prefer. Here's my thing with Jimmy. I'm sorry. I keep, I keep coming back to this, but I feel like I'm going to be proven right. Jimmy had Kyle, Debo, Kittle. I mean, he had a lot, and he still barely had a two to one TD to INT ratio. He's like one of these quarterbacks who can't move and can't read defenses. That's Josh Rosen. Those are the guys who bust the hardest. And that was uh, a f- weird, weird phrasing. Sorry. Those are the guys who are the biggest busts. Um, <laughs> Somebody I mean, make that shirt, please. Somebody yeah, please make sorry. that shirt. Anyway, so he's got all these limitations, and I feel he's just a testament to his weapons and his play designer that they could go as far as they did. Once you take away those weapons and you're like, hey, man, create. Put the team on your back. Make a play. Protect yourself. Like, he can't do any of that stuff. So, yeah. I don't know. And plus, he can't even protect himself on the football field. He he gets hurt every four or five games. Like, nah, not for me. Jacob says, give me Christian Watson. I will not stop saying it. I he's like not him. wrong. He's not wrong. But you can't get him at 61. And, you know, crazy things happen, but the way that he had that combine, and he's just a rare freak, man. They they don't make – they don't grow on trees. I, I'm, him and, and Kyle Shanahan's offense would – if you if you squinted, it would look a little like Julio Jones. Well, and, you, and look at the NFL, what it's doing, right? Yeah. Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, they played in college. You look at Waddle and Tua, that was one-to-one connection. Like, it just keeps going. Hurts and, you know, Devontae Smith. Why not train Christian Watson? That would, They've got the history. Keep it together, man. Yeah, I'm with it. <laughs> I really did say that. I'm so sorry. Scotty Martinez says need another need to address the cornerback position with that second rounder. I'm hey, what do you think of Marcus Jones? 
Slot. Love him. That's love my him. guy. And yeah. return capabilities yep, yep. as well. Uh, he is explosive. He's yeah. fun. Houston's had a hell of a team. They coach their secondary very well down there. I like him a lot because, one, this is my biggest issue with our secondary. Ball skills. I want turnovers in the secondary. Like, I don't know why we don't value that as much, um, especially you look at our safeties. I'm like, with it, it on that. Yeah. Like, I like, love Marcus Jones. Yes. Ball skills, speed, uh, ability to cover in the slot and returnability. And I, I think, think he'll go in the third, too. I think he's he's somebody that you could wait, hopefully. He might have to jump up in the third. But I think he's going to be in the third round because this is a deep corner class, and he's only going to be a slot guy. So he's not somebody that's as versatile. He would be an inside-only guy. I'm going to need to ask the people in the comment section to grow up, all right? Marcus Jones is going to bust the hardest. Grow up. Not funny. <laughs> Not funny at all. Uh